the cathode ray tube. The cathode ray tube or CRT is a display screen which produces images in the form of video signal or in the sense uh, it gives a signal. It is a type of vacuum tube which displays the images when the electron beams strikes a phosphor screen. These electron beams are emitted by an electron gun assembly which consists of a cathode and heater and all elements. The, these electron beams move at very high velocity which will be deflected by the deflection plates and then finally reaches the phosphor screen where the signal becomes visible to us. These cathode ray tubes are being used in different applications like uh, we have a cathode ray oscilloscope that is being used in electronics labs. Then they are used in as a display device in radars, in the TV picture tubes also make use of uh, these uh, construction. Then it is being used in computer monitors and so on. Now let me give you a brief idea about the internal structure of a cathode ray tube. The cathode ray tube as a whole is divided into four main parts. The first part being the electron gun assembly. The second part is deflection plates assembly. The third part is the phosphor screen. And the fourth part is the evacuated glass envelope with aqua dye coating. Now let us come to the first part that is the electron gun assembly. The electron gun assembly consists of a heater a cathode and the control grid and three anodes. The electron gun assembly which has a heater heats such that with the heat applied the cathode which consists of nickel oxide coating or such material will emit electrons electron beams. These electron beams will pass through the control grid. The cathode itself is negative electrode and the control grid is more negative as compared to the cathode. It is this control grid that controls the amount of electron beams that will flow through the to the next stage. Now when these electron beams reaches the anode, there are three main types of anode. They are the pre-accelerating anode. The second anode that is a focusing anode and the third anode that is an accelerating anode. The pre-accelerating anode simply accelerates these electron beams and it reaches the focusing anode. The focusing anode as the name focuses these electron beams so that these electron beams does not divert it into different directions and it finally reaches the accelerating anode where it is accelerated and reaches the verti vertical deflection plates. The electron beams, once it reaches the deflection plates assembly, there are vertical deflection plates and horizontal deflection plates. The vertical deflection plates are such that it deflects these electron beams in the vertical direction, that is the y direction, and the horizontal deflection plates that will deflect these electron beams in the horizontal direction or x direction. These electron beams then reaches the phosphor screen. The phosphor screen has the property of fluorescence or phosphorescence such that uh, when these electron beams strike the screen, it gives out, emits light. Depending on the type of uh, material used on the screen, whether it is phosphor or cadmium sulfide or something, the color of the screen, uh, of the signal that reaches the screen or these electron beams will uh, be uh, having the light depending on that color. It can be green, greenish yellow or uh, yellowish color depending on the type of the material that is used on the phosphor screen. Now, the fourth part that is aquatic coating and the glass envelope. It consists of the, all these things are enclosed in, the, in an evacuated glass envelope 
which consists of aqua dacote along the neck of the tube. This aqua dog, aqua dac coating is connected to the focusing anode such that when these electron beams, uh, when they divert in different directions, they are again directed back to the focusing anode to raise the screen. So these are the different parts of an electron, I mean cathode ray tube. Now let us now let us simply brief up all these parts again. Electron guns assembly, which consists of the heater, cathode, control grid, pre-accelerating anode, focusing anode, and accelerating anode. The cathode and control grid are negative electrodes, while the anodes, namely pre-accelerating, focusing, and uh, the second anode, and, and the third anode, that is accelerating anode, all are positive. The Pre-accelerating anode and accelerating anode are connected to a positive high voltage of about 1500 volt. While the focusing anode is 500 volt electron, I mean uh, voltage. Now there are two types of focusing of electron beam depending on the type of oscilloscope or uh, uh, the tube. The normally uh, TV picture tubes make use of electromagnetic focusing and in cathode ray oscilloscopes we make use of electrostatic fo focusing. The deflection plates assembly consists of the horizontal plates that deflect the beams in x direction and the vertical plates that deflect the beam in, in y direction. Now coming to the phosphor screen. The light emitted through the phosphorus excitation is called fluorescence and this property is being used in order to show the visible part or uh, visible part of the signal. Aqua coating consists of the aqueous solution of graphite which is connected to the secondary of the anode. The aqua dye collects the secondary emitted electrons to direct them again to the screen. So these are the different parts of a CRT. Now let us brief up about the history of cathode ray tubes. The earliest version of cathode ray tube that was uh, also known as the Braun tube that was invent invented by the German physicist Ferdinand Braun in 1897. So the cathode ray tube was earlier named after him. And it was in 1907 that the Russian scientist Boris Rosing that used a CRT for experimental video signal and uh, to form a picture. The first commercially made electronic television set with cathode ray tube was manufactured by Telefunken in Germany in 1934. These cathode ray tubes, they could be uh, either monochrome or color um, color in the sense typically when you we use three electron guns to produce red green and blue images that can be combined to give multicolor images or else we have sim simply one electron gun to produce a monochrome image so that's all about cathode ray tube thank you